Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we're gonna understand about the design and simulation of high voltage, high side, high side load current monitor circuit or current measurement circuit. Let's say you want to do the high side current measurement. How you gonna do that? So let us understand first how this circuit works and then later I'm gonna run the simulation and I'm gonna show you the output. So if you look at now here, the this circuit is nothing but the high side of current measurement. So if you look at here, so my load is connected, my load is I1, which is connected to the ground. And uh, before I1, before load, you, you can say before lo load, I'm measuring the current. I want to measure the current flowing through this load and since this is high side measurement so that is why we call it as a high side current measurement okay now what is going to be your input voltage so your input voltage is gonna be 1.5 volt to 76 volt let's say you have the battery of 1.5 volt to 76 volt okay you have the high voltage at input side and then you want to measure the load and your load is changing from 0 ampere to 1 ampere so the value of i1 the value of your load might change from 0 ampere to 1 ampere and we want to measure the current for this change in load so if you load is 0 ampere let's say if your load current is 0 ampere what is going to be your output and uh, if the load current is 1 ampere, what is going to be output? And what is the uh, ratio metric output of you, this high side current measurement, okay? So, so if you now look at the output, so if your load is 0 amps, your output is gonna be 0 volt. And if your load is 1 ampere, your output is going to be 1 volt. That is how, that is how we want to design it. And let us see how this circuit works now, okay? So if you look at input side, V2 is our input. And at the moment, it is 76 volt. Then I have connected 100 milliohm register, series register, and then it, this is load. So this is your current measurement register or the shunt register where across the shunt register you are measuring your current right so across r3 we are measuring measuring the current now if you look now if you look at this is the ground other pin is the ground here this is the ground and plus the positive supply ground means the negative supply for your operational amplifier and uh, plus here if you look at we have the positive supply which i have given here i have given here the 5 volt and this lt6016 if you go and look at the data sheet of lt6016 it is 3.5 megahertz uh, the gain bandwidth product for this opm is 3.5 megahertz and it has slew rate of 0 0.8 volt per microsecond and it's a rail to rail opm okay this is the rail to rail opm and it can work with the 5 volt and it can also work with the plus minus 15 volt supply and for lt6016 is very high it is 76 volt so if you have the opm which is having the higher common mode input voltage range you can use that opm for your high side of current sensing not all the opm can be used for high side of current sensing since this opm has very good common mode input voltage range you can use this opm as a high side current sensing now if you look at we have the r1 and r2 the balancing register and then we have the output that is R4. And with this, this help of this operational amplifier output R4, we are driving the MOSFET Q1. And here, this is my voltage monitor circuit uh, out. And if the current is zero, it has to be, we should get here zero volt. And if the current is one ampere, it we should get it one volt, okay? So now let me run the simulation and straight away, let me show you how this circuit works, right? So just go at run button. I'll run this, click it here and let us see. So what is my input voltage first? If you look at this is 76 volt 
and what is the current here current if you look at current if you look at it's a 1 ampere the current here i'm i'm getting here ir3 the current here is ir3 and the, the that is that is 1 ampere or the load current is also 1 ampere if you look at i i1 is 1 ampere the voltage at plus terminal this is also important to understand the voltage at plus terminal starting from here if i click is starting from 75.9 to here i see it is it is 76 so you have only one volt one volt drop so the voltage at positive terminal is 17 uh, 75.9 to 76 and the voltage at minus terminal let's look at and the voltage is minus terminal is also more or less same but it has some minor difference what is going to be minor output so my output of my operational amplifier looks like this so this is the output of operational amplifier which seems to be around the peak voltage is 0.2.8 volt and uh, this is same going to appear your appear to your MOSFET gate so if you click at here the same voltage we, we are we are getting here and what is the output now if you compare this is my output this is my V out this is my V out and what was my current this was my current so if you look at the current this is not current this is my current okay and what is my output let me click on here so your current varying from if you look at here in this axis the current is varying from 0 ampere to 1 ampere and your voltage is changing if you look at now this is my v out let me change the current this is my v out and this is let me also change the current current for current color for current now it looks okay current is 0 amps the voltage we are getting is 0 volt now at the peak point if you look at the current is one amp and the voltage i'm getting i'm getting one volt and so you can see when your current is zero amp the voltage output voltage is zero volt and when the current is one amp when the current is one amp the output voltage is one volt that is how you can see we are monitoring the load current with the help of operational amplifier one single mosfet and some passive components of register some register so that is how that is how you can design the high voltage current monitoring circuit for your application okay and uh, hope you guys you learn something today if you have any further question on this topic feel free to reach out to me feel free to ask your question in comment section and I'll help, happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.